Yo, I already did a lot of testing. Okay, um, I'm just gonna get straight into it. Starfield, I did get early access. I won't do a live stream because of stuff. So hopefully, the recordings okay. Enjoy. This is my first time. Seals are good. Oxygen's good. Just do what you did last time, and you're fine. Follow my one simple rule. Hella, what's my one simple Listen rule? Listen to Lynn. Boss lady knows best. Exactly. Listen to me. Mining's just like any other job. Go steady. Go safe. Go home with a pocket full of credits at the end of the day. Yeah, totally. It's just like, um, I work in the Stardock. Except, uh, with more cave-ins, lasers, and accidental dismemberment. Very helpful. Thank you. Ah, you're gonna be fine. Your first outing was solid. And, you know, let's be honest, it ain't exactly astrophysics. That's why I keep him around. Good pep talks. Yeah, and the fact that I can pinpoint a helium deposit from 300 meters. <laughs> Not untrue. A shame we won't find any down here. But the metal deposits alone should pay for our own helium. Hell, after this, we'll have enough jump fuel to bounce from one end of the settled systems to the next. Hey, more minerals, more money. And so the cycle repeats itself. Just no more unauthorized jumps in the house for room space, okay? He's just a big baby. There are worse lives. You know, most Dusties don't even make it this far. I have a good feeling about you. A group hug now or at the end of the shift? <sighs> one of these days, Hella, I am going to leave you. Behind. Promises, promises. <laughs> okay, let's see what we've got. How are we on time? A little longer. Grab some samples? Always. Uh, but not you. Check on Isabel. Make sure she eases up on the breach. I don't feel like getting buried alive today. Roger that. Remember, Dusty, keep your breathing steady, and never take that helmet off down here. Oxygen processors don't extend this far. Yeah, because God forbid we drill on a rock with breathable atmosphere. Know what I love about working <laughs> in Free Star Collective Space? Fewer regs. A job like this in the United Colonies? <laughs> Dreams of red tape. Busy. What else? 
Consider a spike in gravity readings a problem. I don't. You don't? What we're after? It'll read as an anomaly. That's what I was told anyway. Okay, now you're starting to freak me out. Relax. It's just another job. Come on. Dokey! Getting close, I think. Yeah, everything is just... <laughs> Lynn, seriously, uh, there's something really effed up about this. Where is it, Hella? Through there, I think. Okay, you, you're up. Something goes wrong in there, we'll come get you. They're following me. <clears throat> um, still getting weird gravity readings. I, I guess that's a good thing. Come on. Okay, take it easy. You were out cold. Uh, no physical damage. Mentally, the jury's still out. You know who you are? New recruit for Argos Extractors? Ring any bells? Any of this look familiar? Oh shit. Oh. <laughs> Why can't you make this look so weird? <laughs> There's someone on the fat side, I guess.
Oh, I get it. It's this one thing. Yeah, okay. Alright, I'll pause and then start and um I'm done. Um I think I'm good. Well, here's the character. Let's zoom in a little bit on him. Yep. Might as well. Um, background, I chose Beast, well, Beast, I, oh, I thought I chose Bounty, okay. Bounty Hunter, and then the traits, Empath, Extrovert, and Hero Worshipped. Alright. I will finish. Name. Yes, I'll just go with mine. Really? You gotta be kidding me. Whatever. Um, name the character. Yeah. Bet you were expecting a quiet job compared to your last gig. Bounty hunter turned space miner. Huh. Well, you got the sample. Client's on his way, then we all get paid. You remember anything that happened? Huh. Well, makes the paperwork easier, and we got what we were looking for. All this trouble for that stupid thing? Huh. Sure don't look like much. Never mind what it looks like. It's worth more than this mine has pulled in all month. We'll be... Speak of the devil. Oh, what happened? Follow... Okay, got it. Whoa. Our Good. constellation contact is on approach. Wait. The Explorers Group? <laughs> I thought they were kind of a joke. Not a joke. You're just too young to know better. Hey, I'm just saying they got Jeez. a reputation. Hell, I bet half the crew here doesn't even believe they really exist. Half the crew doesn't believe Earth exists, but it's still there. Same with Constellation. Yeah, but come on. Exploring space? Who does that anymore? That. Ain't the space we've already got complicated? Enough. Not okay. again, apparently. All right, Dusty. Airlock. Put your helmet on. Uh, helmet. Lower. Oh, no. No, I'm still done. I'm confused. <laughs> ah.
Yeah, I, yeah, I guess, I guess. are a bit more sophisticated now, huh? So, you found something? Right here. The new guy found it. That right. And everything went cool? Just like grabbing those minerals on Bendy? Kazal. And no Barrett. Not cool. He passed out after the extraction. Doesn't even remember what happened. Is that right, cowboy? Went on a trip, huh? That fun, huh? Not the most gentle push into the great mysteries of space, but hey, been there. Look, just hand over the credits, and I'll be happy to never see this thing, or you, ever again. That's why I like you, Lynn. All business. Spirit, the scanners on the frontier are reporting a ship coming in hot from orbit. I really thought I lost them. Barrett?
Where's that guy? Of course Barrett was being... Now well, that was some fine work on the pressure. You dug up the artifact, right? That means you saw it. The visions? You're coming with me to Constellation. You're part of this now. You ever stare up at the stars at night wondering what's out there? Well, that's us. That's where we go. Uh, <clears throat> I guess. Marvelous. Oh, no, Barrett. No. You think you're just going to take off after the mess you caused? All right. I guess I did just put you all on the Crimson Fleet hit list. How about I stay and I send your Dusty here in my place? I, I, I know, I know, but he's not some miner anymore, Lynn. Soon as he touched that rock, something changed. Don't tell me you can't feel it. Fine. It's a deal. Get out of here, Dusty. You're on to bigger things. Just go. Before I say something, I regret. Well, now that that's settled. Okay. Bosco, get him to the lodge. No deviations unless absolutely necessary, okay? Protocol Indigo. Indigo? Again? Very well. <laughs> oh, and hey, take this. You'll find it very useful out there. And it even tells the time. <laughs> it tells the time. Thanks. Hey, look at that. The watch fits you perfectly. Now, questions? That, my friend, is the million credit question. And Constellation can find the answer. With your help. They're just following the loop, like pirates do. And I have something of a reputation as a loot collector. See, that's the problem with the settled systems. Too easy to take everything for granted. While everyone else is busy playing politics, we're the ones braving the unknown, charting the vastness of space. Without us, the galaxy is just a big room with the lights turned out. Hmm. Come on. You're really not at all curious about that light music show you experienced? Why it only affected you? Because if you didn't notice, we've all been handling it since with no problem. The way I see it, Constellation needs that artifact, but they also need you. This mystery is only getting bigger each step we take. And you're part of it now. Technically, it's not even mine. Consider it alone. Hmm. Bosco will keep you on course. Besides, I'm making an exception, since you can tell Constellation about that vision you had. And Vasco, don't let him break my ship. <laughs> it appears you are the new captain of the Frontier. Sebastian, I assume you know oh, how to what? fly a Class A starship. As Barrett likes to say, it's as easy as learning to ride a bike. I will attempt to boost the shields, just in case there are any difficulties.
No, Bourbon is Abe? Ah, interesting.
at this. Why is flying so hard? This one's mine! Press M.
I don't, okay. Captain Sebastian, Protocol Indigo, dictates that I am to return to the Lodge with no deviations. We are here to stop the Crimson Fleet from pursuit. Nothing more. I have often asked Barrett that same question at various times and about various individuals that wanted to cause us harm. The most likely answer is that Barrett personally insulted him, typically by continuing to live, usually after escaping from certain death, and often with an object multiple people wanted. Huh. Okay. While I am programmed for combat, it is not. Right. Alien creatures are often unpredictable. I am detecting signs <laughs> of life from the enemy.
some alien. Blah, 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 blah.
Something's out there. with the axe, that's what I'm gonna do. Just get it! <laughs> to this. How much stuff do I have? Detected hostile life nearby. Get there.
rid of that guy. That was literally nothing. Drop one. Looks like a P ninety. <laughs>
wait, I can't do it because I don't know it, right? Uh, got it. I'm detecting a safe nearby. We could maybe unlock whatever is inside, provided you had some digi-picks and a disregard for personal property rights. Are you kidding me? There's one. Yes.
gotta be kidding me. The Frontier has a new captain? You working with Barrett, or did you pry the ship keys out of his cold, dead hands? We don't have a problem with Barrett. We want that ship, the Frontier. If you're the captain of it now, that means we're after you. Oh no, you see, we weren't really after Barrett. We're after that ship. Every Crimson Fleet rook hears about the Frontier. That constellation keeps treasure hidden in the cargo bays. The loot from a hundred planets. That statement is partially correct. The Frontier has been to many planets and moons, but the only things held in the cargo bays are spare parts, dust, desiccated food particles, and a variety of species of ant. I don't care what kind of lies Barrett programmed that robot to say. We're taking that ship. You're not talking us out of this score. I'm not falling for that. Your ship is loaded, and we want it. This whole thing is starting to cost more than I'd like. You don't know what you're talking about. I've heard enough out of you. No! Barrett and the Fleet have something of a Okay, um... Hmm, okay. Elio, I guess. Something else is going on.
combat, there is a high likelihood of human death. Enemy activity in the area has ceased. interesting it was just... I'm definitely getting used to the game I don't uh oh well hopefully you guys enjoy my playthrough probably not <laughs> there's not that much to talk here but um I do watch I guess and enjoy other live streamers too of course and if you have the game, hopefully you're enjoying. Um, and if you did watch, thank you, and bye.